Uh, Amy, you have some hair extensions going on, and they don't quite match your mane. Could you help her out with that, please? Maybe she likes them. No, I don't, though. I don't think she looks very pretty with that. Poor Amy. I'll get it for you. That, that's just, look, you got a tangle. It's tangled. Okay, there you go. Elfie, please quit trying to horn me. She has some blonde highlights. And also, please do not judge my shoes. She, her highlights more match my shoes than they do that stick. But uh, I'm out here this morning and I've seen this pile over here. And every single time that I see a pile, I just get this sudden urge to burn it. So I'm going to come over here and burn this. I don't think it's going to burn too much, but I'll come out later with the tractor kind of mix this stuff around but we got to clear out this old hay pile here today so this is where the hay needs to go because over there by the fence i don't know i don't know about that spot we need to kind of do something about that too it's still good hay it just does not look very pretty and of course this stuff isn't even going to get started very well i will break out the diesel again if i have to i didn't want to have to do that but i will burn baby burn burn baby burn come on oh crikey it got going that time i don't know what the heck i just did but it okay works for me so also after this stuff is burning today i'm gonna come out here i'm gonna go down in here i'll try to clean up some of this stuff get that stuff all burning i don't really know what this fluffy stuff is or this hay, this hay string is like buried too. I don't know how that could happen. It's not string. It's that netting, that netting stuff. That's why it's not pulling up out of the ground. It's all ripping and being difficult for me. Golly, look at that. It's way buried. This must be some old stuff. Or from maybe whenever me and Bree drug the pasture and cleaned out the pasture. Maybe it got buried up under there, but... If we see it sticking up, we're always going to grab it and take care of it. I'll put it here. Somehow, someway, we got to get this fire started. Now I've already started a project. And I need it to burn. Come on, burn, please. Nope. I don't think it's going to go today. I might just have to come out here and soak this stuff in diesel. Mix it up real good with the tractor bucket and then... See what we can do a little bit later. I'll also go around the pasture and pick up all these sticks going around everywhere and stuff like that. We just need to get this place back looking right. Excuse me. This house is not being built for y'all. What are y'all doing? And then you got Kitty over there. She's I'm trying to run everybody off. Out. Yeah, look at him. Like, wow, Jake. I love this new bedroom you built. That's how you sleep at night. Yeah, taking up the whole bed. <laughs> Seriously, cats, this is not... This is our master bedroom you're in. So are you. If y'all are going to be out here, could you at least pick up some of this stuff or, like, do some work or nail something in, screw something in, something, anything? Please? No? Just going to stay out here catting around? All right, then. Works for me. I, I mean, I guess we really don't mind. My turn. My turn to go on a rant. You hear that? We're about to go on a rant. We are about to go on a rant. And it's directed to all of you. And everything's going to stop. And it's going to stop right now. So, in reality, like, we love everybody. And we appreciate everybody that watches and takes their time to comment and takes their time to sit through these annoying ads. But even though I may go on rants, Lester may go on rants, everyone may go on a rant, but that, that's fine because guess what? We are family. We're family and we're allowed to say whatever we would like to each other, about each other, 
and whatever and, and you know you guys get all riled up about it and that's that's okay but what you're not going to do is to bounce between pages and attack everyone it's not going to happen so i just want to make something very clear we are family we have spats everybody does it's going to happen this is life and that's just how it works but i want to show you from about this point somewhere down here <clears throat> all the way down there and then this morning lester and i finished all the way back across there we're like 99.97 percent done with this thing and that's you know even spatting or not having a spat or not we all take care of each other and that and that's just the way family works and you guys should know this anyone that has a family should know this and families are going to argue families are going to go through hard times and families are going to say things to each other they don't mean but guess what my uncle come out here every day and worked his butt off he worked his butt off with all this back fence all this fence going down you know i've been busy with uh working on the house for Lisa and I, so Lester took over some projects. And I appreciate that a lot. It, it means a lot to me that he took his time out away from his projects that he has going on to come out here and do what should have been my work. Winch in turn has helped me out tremendously. It's helped us make a ton of progress on the house. So I'm just gonna say this now, whether, whether we say something about each other or not, it does not give you commenters and watchers rights to put down our family because in the end you guys are you are family but you're virtual so you can you can say something mean to us and and we click the block button and, and we never have to talk to you again but here on Morrow Hill we are family and there's not a block button and we're going to go through differences and we're going to we're going to have problems and we're going to go through all kind of stuff a lot of stuff that you guys aren't aware of and we're going to we're going to work it out between ourselves and maybe we shouldn't have maybe we shouldn't have went on social media but you know people do things sometimes we all make mistakes and everyone's guilty of something but what you're not going to do is go put down my uncle because in the end he is my real family and he has helped me a lot and he has come out here and done a lot of work for me and uh it's just not right guys it's not right how would you feel if someone was going over say you didn't like your your sister but then a lot of people went over to your sister and told her what a piece of junk she is when when she don't even no one even really knows her no one even really knows her. It's kind of like I can sit here all day and pick on Brienne and mess with Brienne. <clears throat> tell Brienne. I'll tell her sometimes, Brie, you're being an idiot. You're being an idiot, Brie. What's wrong with you? But guess what? If this cow said my sister was an idiot, she'd be getting a whopper. She'd be getting a whopper. She'd have a black eye right there. Because no one is going to talk about our family. Enough is enough. This is where it ends. Everyone's, yeah, I agree. It's disgusting. Everyone's going to stop with the BS. And we're going to do this right. Bye, guys. Have a great day.